Hi, my name's Alice Sowerby. I've come along to the Bristol and Bath Social Enterprise Network meetup today to find out uh, what's going on with social enterprise in Bristol and Bath um, and how it can help me with the social enterprise that I'm looking to start. The social enterprise that I would like to start is called A Will for Life. It's an, a free online will writing platform where anybody can, can come along and write a will, a basic will, for free and have that stored for them online where they can come back and revisit, revisit it at any time to keep, make sure it's up to date and also to be able to inform their executor that the will exists, that they're an executor to the will um, and where the will is stored so that they can then uh, find it at any later point and there should be no ambiguity then about which was the most up to date will or the most recent will. The impact of, of not having a will um, and remembering that there are 27 million people in the UK who don't have wills um, can be quite dramatic. Um, so if you die intestate, that is to say without a will, um, there are particular ways that the government will settle your estate and that might not be the way that you would, you would wish that to happen. So um, what might happen is it say you're cohabiting with somebody um, there's no legal relationship between you, so in the eyes of the law, in your, your will, they may not get anything from your estate. They may not be able to continue living in, in the house that, that you live in together. Um, if you have children or your situation is slightly more, more complicated, where perhaps you're not married um, to, the, to the other person who looks after your children or they're not, they're not the biological parent, then it, it may not be clear who the guardian for those children will be going forwards. So for, for people to not have wills or even to have a out-of-date wills can be a real problem and what I'd like to do is to make it much much easier for people to get um, get wills without the the big over sort of without the big barrier of, of um, starting um, and, and the costs involved so that that people have more of an opportunity to to have their wishes carried out after they've gone um, what I'm really looking for at the moment because I'm right at the very beginning of, of doing this is um, help from people who um, already know about legal services and, and wills and people who who can help me test out the idea um, so it will be a, it will be free for the people who are creating the wills but it will be supported financially uh, will bring in revenue through um, referring um, wills that are more complicated to solicitors which would then be a paid for service um, there are also ways that um, that it could bring in revenue through um, charities being placed in the, the will writing platform um, as, as potential beneficiaries from the will and, and bringing in revenue through that or, also, or through um, upselling or cross-selling to things like life insurance. Um, so there's a number of different ways in, in which the social enterprise could be self-supporting or, or self-financing. Um, but what I'm looking for is, is people who can help me develop both the, the, the front end for, the, for where the users are going to be um, using the product and also the, the other side of the marketplace where um, partners like solicitors or, or insurance companies and so on will be actually getting their referrals or getting, getting their, um, um, their placement. So I'll be really interested to, to know if there's um, anyone out there who's interested in, in such a project and if you would like to reach out to me or, or get in touch with me, uh, my Twitter handle is at Sowerby Alice. Sowerby is spelt S-O-W-E-R-B-Y. Thank you.